So this is a young freezing horse on the offside and Bentley find new horse on the inside. This young horse um, on the outside of this filly, she's been on the other side of the pole, on the inside. But they're both youngsters really, but obviously Bentley knows his job. One thing that's worth observing as this film goes on is the fact that you'll see he's just started listening to me all the time. You can see that his ears back on me a lot of the time, yeah? If you look at Rowley, for instance, his ears are never off me. And Bentley will grow, you know, to be the same way as he gets more educated. I'm perfectly happily taking him um, out, you know, I'm confident in him and his ability, you know, to do the job. So what we're trying to, to, to do here is take this horse for a walk, a little, well, we do a lot of walking actually, but this, you know, it's a little trot along going down into the village. And what I'm looking for is the distance she's away from the pole is lovely. We want to see how tight she comes to the pole when anything that she sees on her offside that she's not quite happy with, yeah? So you see this road marking here, I'll see, have a little look there, move into the pole slightly. That tells me quite a lot. We've got the first motor car now. We see that, we just watch her now. Just had a little look at the motor car, ears down, picking up information, but nothing too drastic. You can see, obviously, Bentley don't care at all, he just goes on, but he's been doing it a little while now. Um, but this is, you know, the, the start of his training as well, if you like, to become a schoolmaster. Um, he's certainly very good at the moment, but if you keep watching it all the time, you see his ears. So there you are, coming in the, to the water there. And that's her first time in. He would say to me, well, how can you do that with all sorts? I said, well, what she's doing, she, they're a herd animal, and because Bentley's going in, he's been in loads of times now, and he's happy, then she's happy. What I'm asking her to do now is just come round in a circle in the water, come back, stand in the deep water, as we come down here. So that's lovely, just let her come in there. Beautiful. So you can see that Bentley's a little bit more confident. She's looking a little bit, but nothing that I'm concerned about. And this is our second time coming in. And you see now, not looking as much. I've got a slack rein and she's coming in with far more confidence. The problem is when you talk about another horse giving them confidence, you have to understand that, or try and understand that you've got to be able to read the horse when they're side by side because you see there, there's some bikes coming past, prime example. But she's not moving into the pole, they're all bright colours, whizzing past. And remember, she can't see behind her because of her blinkers. Vehicle there right across her nose, yeah? Very good, and she's not coming into Bentley. So what I'm saying to you is what we term it, she's running independent. So she's independent of Bentley. She doesn't come into the pole a great deal. Yes, she's looking. We've got a nice slack rein on her. I know that people say you should have a lot of contact. And the motorbike there, for instance, you see bright coloured noisy, obviously. And she's coped perfectly well with that. So we're just going along another one again. So she's not really moving in and hugging, if what we call it, coming in and touching about, oh dear, you've seen what's happening. She's going freely of herself. That's exactly what we're looking for. And for all fresh out in the traffic, that is absolutely superb. Also, if you look, she's quite, quite tight to the center of the road, i.e. I'm not running along the curb with Bentley. If you line it up, you can see glimpses of the curb on his near side there, so you can see that she's right over on that white line. Which, you know, you say to me, why do I do, why do I keep them? Because that's the way traffic is. Sometimes you have to let them come past you quite close. If we go to the edge and she was to be startled or push Bentley, it's gonna force the carriage up the bank. And obviously we don't want that. Um, 
because it's not only that, it, it unbalances the vehicle and pushes the pole between them quite violently. So, you know, as it bounces up and down over rough ground on the edge of the road. So here we're going now. So all the time, I'm watching her the whole time how she's reacting, which tells me how much further we can push her. Now, on this film, you'll see us trot. Obviously, we walk as well, yeah? But this, the, the, the idea of this film is to show you what she is at the trot, yeah? The fact that she's not coming back and sitting in the bridging, she's up level with Bentley. The cars are quite close to her. She's got lots of blind bends to cope with, like this one here, so you could get a lorry come round or something, you know, and be quite startling to a young also. All she's doing now is picking up information with her ears and her eyes and coping with it very well. So that is absolutely superb. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now, as we approach into the village here, or small town, um, we're coming up to a roundabout. And she's looked at that sign. But again, nothing that I'm concerned about. You must be observing all the time. I'm not really observing Bentley because I know he can do his job. He's coming on his own voice commands, you know, that I'm teaching him. And he's doing very well. He's a very good anchor, he's there, but she's running entirely independent of him, which is, you know, you can't ask for more than that with a young horse. And you see, come around here now, that's absolutely superb. And she don't know where she's going, she's never been down here. But she's not waiting, not waiting for Bentley to give her the lead. If you watch her pole chains, they're both performing the same. The bounce in the pole chains is the same on both horses. Well, therefore, obviously, she must be keeping up with Bentley quite happily, yeah? And at points, she's even in front of Bentley. You know, like she's moved up and she's taken on. Obviously, what we want to do with a young horse is we don't want her doing any more work. Yeah, this, this is not about work. This is about she's going out for a nice walk up the high street, lovely. Yeah, motorbikes, everything coming past, and she's coping, you know, really nicely with that. And you see the motorbike coming the other way, she's really not, she's moving her ears forward, she's picking up. All of these things tell me that she's content and she's happy. There is no point in pushing a horse just because you've got horse by the side of it to pull it along and hold it back and push it this way and push it that way. That's not what this is about. He's there to provide the power. Yep, he's there as an engine, and if you like, she's an auxiliary engine. She's alongside, and you know, if we need her, she can come up, she can take the weight occasionally. And what we're gonna do now is Mel will jump off and get a coffee and I'll just stand here for a minute. So what we do, we have a walk, we have a trot, yeah? And this is probably the best. What we've done back up the other end of the village, um, we've stopped and Mel's washed them off. She always carries a bucket on the back and she just tip a bucket of water over them. And just, um, cause it was quite a nice day actually for the time of year. Um, so yeah, so we've got a motorbike on the near side here and the chap saying to me, Oh, is it all right if I move? I said, yeah, lovely, no problem at all. You know, it's a good thing, it's a good education. So here he comes out on his motorbike, Bentley, nothing at all. And nor is the little girl. She's happy. Oh yeah, what's that? Oh, it's a motorbike, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so both of them coping really nice. Um, I would expect Bentley too. Sometimes you can put a new horse up the side of your uh, of your your um, schoolmaster, and sometimes they'll react with that particular horse for some reason. Yeah. So I've just moved him over there. The only reason I've moved him over so the man's got a, a, you know a line of sight so he can get out on his motorbike. So he goes away. She's just picked it up with her ears. She can't see him because he's out of shot now. So that's pretty good. Very happy with that. This one coming up, that trailer is quite noisy. It was bouncing a little bit when it come up the road. Um, 
but again, no reaction. She didn't even turn her head that time to have a look. So we've on our way back now. So we're not working, if you see what I mean. We're only doing a very steady jig jog trot, just a working trot, but not an extended trot. We're not pushing on. We don't need to do any of that now. We just need to exercise, basically, is what we're doing. Bentley is quite a bit bigger in the body. He's a little bit taller, but he's bigger in the body and, you know, that much older, that, you know, so he's more mature in himself. And he's doing nice, I'm very pleased with him, but I wouldn't expect any less the, the, the time he's been here and the fact that he's been up alongside Rowley and learnt off the best, I suppose. I see now, you see with this sauce, just picking up this with her ears, checking it out, but going forward the whole time and going forward happily. But we're only going slow, a little jig jog along, nothing too strenuous, don't want that with them. What we don't want to do is we don't want to always behave in itself because it's, you know, tired or, you know, anything like that. You can see the height of her head where she's carrying herself, you know, she's perfectly happy. She's light on her feet, her towel's off, her ears are pricked forward. These motorbikes that are coming, this is why I like this particular road on the weekends. You do get a lot of motorbikes. Sometimes you can get a lot of Harley Davisons. So we're on our way back home now. We're about, I suppose, two miles from home. And a nice long straight road. And she's skipping along. If we've mostly seen cars today, we have seen, I think, only cars today. And that's lovely, that's fine. But she's accepted them. So what we can do there, being a Sunday, you don't get the vans and the lorries about. So this is a good day for traffic training. I know there'll be motorbikes out, I know obviously there'll be cars, people going down for a coffee at Stockbridge and it's, you know, the shops are open on a Sunday down there, so. But you can see her skipping along, really comfortable, really happy. That's what I want. The next stage will be to introduce her to some slightly heavier traffic. So we'll pick our road in the week, you know, one that's gonna suit the job and we'll, we'll do that. We'll take her and see what she's like with bigger stuff. We have our own tractor for it. There is a lovely one now, this van, bikes and a van, and the windows in the side. Lovely thing to have because if they're looking at the side of the van as it comes, often they can see their own reflection, which can be quite startling. People don't think of that. And there, that's nice. Now, what I've done there is asked Rowley to come over away from that, um, asked Bentley, sorry, I get so used to working with Rowley. So I've asked him to come away from that fence. And the reason being, it's much like this one here. If you look at the road, there's a great crack about, can you see it there? Look, about a metre of tarmac, and there's a big crack and it's actually sunk because of that, um, you know, ditch there, a little channel. So that's the reason I asked him just to come over. Just looking at all the swans, they just gathered there, so many of them for some reason. Okay, so we're on again now, going nice and steady, lovely. And you can see from when we first come out, how more relaxed she is. Not that she was very uptight at all when we first come out. I mean, she'd been on the inside up until this point, but now she's on the outside. I would say that the mare is, um, yeah, she's nice and she's in nice condition. But you don't want to be working them too heavy at all when you're training so the, the other horse there is doing lovely sometimes that was an absolutely beautiful thing she had that thing on the back well, on that trailer and she took no notice at all so very very pleased so we're not far from home now at all this here they've just put this orange stuff down can you see to fill in you know the divots in the track on the side there and some of the horses have looked at that and gone oh my god what's that you know and another one I'll take no notice, just how they, how they perceive things, really. But very, very pleased with the mayor, very pleased with Bentley. I've got to say that, you know, I can't say anything other than that. Um, and we've just got that light contact, and she's up into the collar, and we've never had to ask her or push her on at all. And now we're coming home, and she's coming round there, sweet. I like that as well. The way she's learning to step sideways as we come up to the gate. 
So yeah, all in all, a very, very good, uh, a good trip. I'm very pleased with, I'm pleased with what the progress she's making. And then we'll see her in single before too long, I should think. Yeah, that's it. That's a lovely, lovely lesson for her. She's happy. <laughs>